Hello ladies and gentlemen, All right, I'm doing an interesting video here because recently something strange happened in Connecticut, particularly New Haven. A lawyer walked into a movie theater, All right, he had a, a concealed weapon, he had a pistol permit, carried a 40 caliber handgun on his back and apparently some people in the movie theater saw it, got nervous, called the cops, cops went into the movie theater with handguns and tasers and basically uh, restrained him. Now the guy is this guy right here. All right, now excuse my horrible pronunciation, but I think it's like Sung Ho Wang, I think is his name. It's Korean. All right, uh, this gentleman is a lawyer. All right, this gentleman also uh, is the president-elect of the New Haven Bar Association. All right, um, so immediately after he got arrested, he, he basically said, it's my Second Amendment right. Uh, here is my pistol permit. I should be allowed to carry this gun. I felt nervous going you know, down in, you know, into downtown late at night from the movie after especially what happened. I just thought it would be a good idea to have something to protect myself. Now, the police said the reason why they arrested him was uh, not due to the fact of him carrying an arm, but due to the fact that uh, he was not listening, their listening to their instructions to put his hands up, you know, and other things like that nature. All right, um, you know, it, it's interesting. Uh, you know, the point I, I I like to bring up is that you know, if we were in a movie theater, all right, and it was filled with people who own guns, do you believe that a shooter would be able to even get off a shot? All right. What really upset me is that the mayor of New Haven, uh, Mayor DeStefano, he always has interesting comments to say about things. After all, he's the one who wanted to allow illegal immigrants the right to vote. He basically allows New Haven to become a place of amnesty for illegal immigrants. And so many other things, not to mention New Haven is the home of the Skull and Boners. But anyway, uh, getting in here, DeStefano basically said here, all right, the point I am making is sometimes just because something is legal doesn't make it right, he goes on. He says, just like we don't expect anyone to go to a theater and shout, uh, and shout fire, we don't expect anyone to go to a theater with a gun, or into a church, or into a mosque, or into a temple. Oh, all those gun-free zones where all the mass shootings take place. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, you know, so um, basically all I'm going to say is that, you know, they we lucked out here, all the people who support the Second Amendment, because this lawyer had had a, all the legal right to carry his gun, and immediately, you know, due to his high credentials, respect in the community, was able to uh, improve the image of the case. But, you know, that's basically all i got to say. It was something interesting I thought I should share.